off. Ford was in charge when you, when your final year was at Bath, is that right? Yeah, my, he was there with Gary, but he was backs coach or assistance coach or something. And then he moved in, he took over, I think a year and a half, he was head coach whilst I was there. How was your relationship with him? I mean, we, well, we don't speak now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <That's a lot. laughs> yeah. yeah. Um I don't I'd say his number, obviously. Um yeah, it was tough. It was, you know, it was a it was a period when my last year there they we got to the final of the Prem and lost to Saris, but it was sort of we had like, you know, your George Fords, Carl Eastman's, Sam Burgess was in there. Um so it was like about as sort of star studded as it came. Um so yeah, it was just one of those years. I had a couple of niggles. I was getting absolutely no love. The boys were flying, um, which was class to watch and be around. But obviously, from a personal point of view, I was just getting absolutely sort of nowhere with my rugby career. Um, and it became pretty clear, sort of that year, that if I wanted to actually play and not just hold a bag, then I'd have to sort of start looking elsewhere, um, as you do, uh, to try and actually get some game time because i think by the fourth year i was just sat there going like this is crap do you know what i mean um mm -hmm. it's not it's not my dream it's not what i signed up for um so yeah i felt like i just had to get out of there um whether that was you know no doubt me probably not trained to the best of my abilities but also i think just mentally i was absolutely dust by that point i just needed a change rich when you when you talk about the niggles that you had to handle in that last 